The INS standards, I find it very important. I use them to create new policies, new protocols, new procedures. Um, I use them to help educate my staff, but most importantly, I use it to help me get um, new products into the hospital that I think will better patient care. So the new INS standards, uh, they really expanded on the needleless connectors as it relates to patient safety. Um, what they did is they included uh, more discussion on the difference between neutral, um, negative, positive, and anti-reflux needleless connectors. Nurses don't know what they're using for needleless connectors. There's so many of them out there. It results in inappropriate clamping sequences um, and inappropriate syringe disconnection with clamping sequence. And when that happens, you're gonna get that blood that's gonna reflux back into that catheter. The biggest issues with blood reflux um, into the, a catheter are occlusions. Occlusions are the number one reason peripheral IVs end up failing with patients having to get restuck. When you're talking about central lines, if a nurse can't get a blood return back, they're gonna order TPA. And there has been a link now showing that patients who receive TPA or Alteplase for occluded catheters have a 3.59 times greater chance of getting eclapses. Any type of movement is going to cause blood to reflux back and forth inside that catheter. When it comes to physiological, man, there's so many. Coughing, sneezing, um, yawning, patients on ventilators who are getting suctioned. You know, we're turning patients now, we're proning them with COVID. Nobody flushes the catheter after a patient coughs, sneezes, or yawns. The only time those catheters get flushed is every 12 hours if they're not in use or after each medication administration. At Hartford Hospital, we did a study and found that the anti-reflux needles connector design plays a huge part in improving our patient care. The way it has been designed based off of PSI pressures that um, are exhibited in healthcare with patients coughing, sneezing, throwing up, or from ventilators, there's this little teeny valve and it's bi-directional. So the minute you stop putting any pressure on that syringe to flush forward or immediately when fluid starts flowing from a pump, that valve shuts down. And that's what prevents that blood from refluxing, whether it's pulling blood into the catheter or flushing. Um, it's just a great design. In our study, we looked at the sustainability of using anti-reflux needleless connector in reducing our TPA consumption. We got a greater than 69% reduction over a course of five years. It is imperative for patient safety that we make sure we do whatever we can to keep blood from refluxing back into that catheter. For clinicians, the biggest benefit with the anti-reflux needleless connector is there's no clamping sequence and it automatically prevents unintentional blood reflux. In this day and age with, with the busyness and the high acuity and COVID and all the stuff that's going on, I think it's really important that we make sure that we put the best products on our patients.